You're looking at a funeral procession in Arlington National Cemetery held on March 8, 2013. The full military honor ceremony is for two Civil War sailors who went down with the USS Monitor ironclad in an 1862 storm off the coast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. The remains of the sailors were recovered by NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and the U.S. Navy in 2002. In this American Artifacts, we'll observe the interment ceremony and learn the history of the Monitor and the effort to identify the remains of the recovered sailors. We spoke after the burial with NOAA's David Alberg, who is superintendent of the Monitor National Marine Sanctuary. Today's ceremony was the culmination of more than a decade's worth of work. Uh, it started in 2002 when the remains of two United States sailors were recovered from the turret of the USS Monitor um, by NOAA and Navy divers. And those remains have been in uh, Hickam Air Force Base in Hawaii at a facility called JPAC, the Joint POW MIA Accounting Command, where they have been working to identify these two men and return them to their families. And although they've got great information on uh, the age and the height and some of the ailments and even some of the things that the habits they weren't able to provide it a, a, a DNA match so the Secretary of the Navy made the decision that these men were to be honored in Arlington National Cemetery worth a burial and today we did that we thank you for being with us today to honor the two sailors we inter and the 14 others who perished so long ago aboard monitor it is fitting that we hold this ceremony today on the 151st anniversary of the Battle of Hampton Roads, where the Monitor engaged the Virginia for control of the James River and the southern Chesapeake Bay. Though the outcome that day was a draw, the battle enshrined each ship in naval immortality. Well, the Monitor was a revolutionary type of ship. It, it changed modern naval warfare uh, in one single day. Um, the, the, the ship was different from, from its predecessors because one, it was an iron ship made entirely of iron and it changed. It was the transition from the wooden warship to the age of iron. But probably more significant than that was its revolving gun turret. The Monitor was designed by the Swedish engineer John Ericsson who designed this, this vessel with two guns to uh, its contemporaries typically had as many as 40 guns or more, but it had two guns protected in a heavily armored turret that could rotate 360 degrees, and for the first time in history, it separated the navigation from the ship from the firing of the weapons, and this changed everything. And on March 9th, in fact, uh, 151 years ago tomorrow, uh, the Monitor met on the field of battle, the CSS Virginia, and for four hours these two ships slugged it out pretty much to a draw. But what changed that day was the course that naval warfare would take in every Navy in the world.
This may well be the last time we bury naval personnel who fought in the Civil War here at Arlington. But we do not hesitate to keep faith and honor this tradition even more than 150 years after the promise was made. Our nation honors our fallen sage, sailors, soldiers, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guardmen because we do not want their sacrifice, however distant, to be unremembered. can learn more about the USS Monitor at NOAA's website for the Marine Sanctuary, monitor.noaa.gov. And you can view this and other American artifacts at our website, cspan.org slash history. Look for the American Artifacts tab at the top of the page or use the search engine to explore topics that interest you.